Hmm. Let's see what the histogram looks like on this. Yeah, this thing's all good. It's gonna dip. All right, I'm gonna take a small. Oh, that's a batch of big trade. Um, let's do. Oh, we gotta hurry up. Oh, I'm going the wrong way with this. You know what? Let's just switch the ATM. 1.5 locked. Let me just sell. Order filled. So we're gonna put the. Uh, we gonna bring that stop loss in here. See, there we go. It's gonna write down. It's hitting a 120 on the other. Um, the other uh, chart. The other computer phone. We'll see. Still, the ATR is still invalid because um, so we're gonna put a stop right above the ATR value. See the targets? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so starting to go positive. Like I said, it's on the on the other computer. I was just you know, it's definitely right up against that uh, 120. Moving average. And it's still projected to go down. Um, let's see, let's run this down. Until oops, 10 or 5 a.m. in the morning. So, you know what? If I enter some more trades on uh, my other accounts. All right, I'm going to pause the video, traders. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Here we go. Going on down. And we're going down pretty hard. All right, we took out target one, like, really aggressive. I mean, we took a huge bearish candle. Uh, like I said, it was coming up on that um, on the other computer because I had that stall on this computer for the Ninja Trader. So I switched over to my other Ninja Trader platform with a different setting of the um, Flux Power Zone. And it hit the 120. And that's a trend rejection trade. And plus the histogram was, you know, it, it just crossed below zero, like right here, you could see it. It just made that rally up. And let me just pull it up on this one. And you could see it, it crossed over zero, so it made a little run up. And then once it was around right here, I know the bigger bars are coming in. So that's why I took that short. Now we're going down. We're going to be going down. Um, the trail is already locked in. It already took out uh, target. I don't know what ATM this one is. Which one is it? I don't shouldn't have a really big one on Falcon E. It does move over 100 pips on, you know, it does move Tuesday pretty well. Um, but that was a quick trade. I was supposed to put a bigger position on, but I did not get that ATM. I wanted a bigger position. That would have been an awesome trade right there. But that's all right. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Uh, uh, I like to call it, with the flux power zone, the ATM machine. Okay, we're currently up uh, 38 Pips. We already closed out with 20 already on the trend rejection trade. Uh, bar to go down. Continue its way down. Now, is it going to get this trailing stop? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a picture of this. You know, let me take a screenshot of this actual trade on this other computer. It's actually going down now, I see. So maybe we'll take our target out. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, traders, one more pick. And also, it's going to stop right here. If it breaks past, if it, this, this bar closes, you see how target it, filled. It, it, it took it out, took out the target, but it's going to go right to this ATR right here, and it's going to stop. Because once the candle closes, um, you can kind of like move your, like you can use this ATR value as also a trailing stop as well. And then a lot of traders will do that use this trend stopper. They'll put their trailing stop behind to say target two. And then once it moves from target two, then put it to target three. When it goes to four, you know, and so on. You want to be two targets back because what it's going to do, it's going to um, go right to this target and then start accumulating. And then um, if it's going to eventually break past there, then it's going to, you know, it's going to go past there. So it went down, took out the target. So we're good to go. But we're definitely going to get some, some resistance there. Right here. Oh, here's me trying this. Uh oh, it's a certain time of fire. Alright, so now we see how we just, you know, we came right there and stopped. All right, Trey, so we're, we're pretty much locked in, so this trade can uh, do whatever it wants now. You already closed those two positions, so we have no risk in the trade, and, uh, you know, we're, we're locked in. Not that many pips at the moment, but, you know, we are locked in, and if we can ride it out all the way out with the trailing stop until 10.05 a.m., we shall see. As you can see, this trend is so far so good. It's working out at the moment. Here's the sell cycle. Here's the sell. I like to do it with the trends are really clear, as clear as possible. There's no other, you know. There's a little bump in the road, like you, could, like here. Uh, let's blow it up a little bit. Okay, you can't see the time signal. Okay, we got a little bump in the road here, but not that much. But it's still working its way. Um, down. See, that's where the, that pullback came from. Okay, and um, right now we're still on course for the trend. Okay, we're still. Uh, this is what I like to see clear. One, two, zip to this area. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. I'm about to close this trade. It's um. It's over. It's already went by the daily trading range, so I'm going to close it out very shortly. Let's pull it down here. I'm going to close it. Order canceled. Order filled. All right, so I'll close out the last position at 100 pips because the daily trading range is 106. And this is 100 pips from here. So I didn't even get in on this move. Again, I, I missed that move because I was um, sleeping. So we're already past, way past the daily training range on this pair. 121. So that's about right. Oh, man. I think it's still going to dip even more. Maybe I should have laid. Well, you know what's going to happen? It's going to... Get more here, and then bottom out, and then we're gonna go back up. Then we're gonna start going up. So I'll probably take a buy trade on this later on today. 
that's now five up to here. Even though it's going down pretty hard, but with the Canadian, very predictable. All right, so it's probably going to go down right here. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. I call it the AKA, the ATM machine. Okay, we're currently up, uh, let's see how many pips we're up. 32 pips, uh, and about $255. Then we closed out already, uh, with the Aussie. It already hit the target already. I took this cell that I was waiting for, and it went down immediately. As you can see, the 1005 signal, we already limited out. We have five minis on that one. And where are we? Uh, the New Zealand dollar is right fluctuating at the limit. It's going to go down, definitely. We're gonna, we're probably going to get it on the next bar. Uh, we're up on this one. How many pips? 12 pips. Okay, trader. So should take out that target very shortly. Uh, the already protected from the stop loss um, is moved to break even plus two and uh, we'll see what happens but the uh, next bar should um, hit the target take it down because this bar right here the next one that's coming is a lower bar Canadians breaking out so we're gonna try to we're gonna see how long we can hold the, the Canadian trade. My trailing stop on this is really it's a real tight trailing stop. So what it's doing is I had to move it back because it just it keeps advancing my you know a couple of ticks. I gotta see what which one I used on this one. Because this is not the correct one. Definitely not the one. I know it's one lot, let's say. Yeah, that's not the, definitely not it. Alright, trader, so it's probably going to move up in, a, in any second. We're going to have some resistance here, but if we can get past this here, then we're, you know, because the trend is going to last for a while here. So let's see if we can hold it. I, know, I may have to cancel the trailing stop and just put a big stop loss in because it's moving up pretty uh, aggressively. And then we're going to have to push down bar right here. But I'll be coming up soon. Right here. It's going to be a push down bar, so. Alright, traders, so. We cleared it. I'm looking at the other computer. We cleared the 120. And we just got to take out these. Uh, but the dollar Canadian is real aggressive. You know, once it gets, once it pulls back and then it goes for the next target. I mean, it just blows right through it. All right, traders. So uh, once we get past this ATR, we are good to go. So, all right, so let's see how we doing with the New Zealand dollar. Okay, still floundering around. Twelve pips. Yeah, Aussie was the faster trade, fulfilled in like no time. I'm not getting the resistance here. See the resistance. Uh, yeah, dollar Canadian is taking off. That's why this this currency pair it just it just pays. It just pays with this flux power zone. With the trend start for elite. So I'm going to be looking at 28.90 for some resistance coming up. But like I said, with this dollar Canadian, now we got the uh, we got the trend stalker elite calling a trade at the moment to the to the upside. 
So uh, we're currently up about 30, no, a little more than that. Let's see, 43 pips. 41. All right, traders, so I'll update you with that position. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Uh, we're going to try to take out this target here. This was a, you know, a really low risk trade here. It's coming into a buy in about a couple of hours. Um, so we'll see what happens when we get to that level. We're trying to take this target out. One couple more pips. Not even a pip. Um, let's see. What's Target going? filled. There we go. Target filled. And um, it took a short um, on this pair because of the the broadheads. You know, he had the resistance here. And um, you could, you know, move the stop maybe two pips below. I mean, above. As you can see, it never tested it. Highs it came up was right about there at 68. So I only made a few pips on that. Welcome back, traders. Trading the US dollar Canadian. We got some stiff resistance up here, right at this level. Uh, we're going to see if we're going to hold here and uh, go down. Because we got one, two, like two more bars, and we got a nice push down bar. We'll see how far we go down, if we're going to go now, or we'll be taken out. Well, we got a tight stop, tight stop loss, and uh, let's see how this trade works out. This has been going sideways. Overall, it was going up. I uh, have bought up into this zone here, went up a little bit, hit this, pulled back, and then uh, it's starting to go up, but you got this resistance that stopped it a couple of times. So... Um, we'll see if we're going to make a lower high. Again, like this was a high, then a lower high down. Now, it came, came back up here. Now, if it's going to create another lower high than this high. Okay, now if we break past this high here, then uh, we're probably going to go higher. And support level. Um... Got support here, support, you got the, um, the supply and demand zones, but um, we could go down pretty rapidly, you know, with the oil inventory report. So we just got to watch out for, you know, to try to stop everybody out. So we got one more minute. Uh, this is the dollar Canadian. I like to call it the AKA uh, cash machine. Let's see where are we? we got a lot of support down there. But this is um okay, 1030, here we go. Here we go, we're pushing down, down. Stop filled. Oh, we're coming back up. got to get my crap out of the way. It's got to be really quick with stuff like this. Okay, trader. Once we take these lows out, then we're going to get a bigger push down bar. All right, so let's pull the, we're going to pull the stop in. You can barely see it. It's pulling back. Trying to break this support. Once we break that support, then we're going to come down into this area. Because the next bar is a bigger push down bar here, as you can see here.
Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna break that, and then we're gonna bounce off of this level. Day trader. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to pull it in. You know what, it's gonna pull back. I'm gonna close out. I'll take the one, well, I'll take the 125. Order, order canceled. <clears throat> What's up, boom, dollar Canadian. I like to call this my ATM uh, machine. You know, the thing just keeps on paying, paying, and paying. Okay, the most consistent pair in my uh, mind when I'm trading swaps, as you can see, we're up uh, 250 on this. Okay, and how many pips is that? Uh, probably not that many. 31, 29. Okay, tra okay, that 950 signal will be coming in for the Euro Australian, and then we have the. Uh, did we do the pound JPY? I think we did the pound JPY. Or not. We're up 90 pips in that. Okay. And I think we have one more. And the Great British Pound. This is on a 60 minute time frame. Great British Pound, NZD. Uh, we got the trailing stops all working. We got all four positions. It's like three positions just as a double. Um, it has two lots in it, and the other ones are single. All right, traders. So this is the Flux Power Zone with the Trend Stalker Elite. Awesome trading system. If you need some more information on it, uh, please let me know, and then uh, we should tally up. Uh, we'll tally up the pips. You know, once these order, things, order filled. Once these, once these things close out, we should get a big run up soon, especially on the Euro Australian. I have to switch over to the ATR bar color so you can see that. Let me switch over to the ATR bar color. Uh, ATR bar color. Do, 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 do. You're Australian. Right here. We got a um, pretty nice position on it. Once we break out of this, um, let's go to the power zone. There's your power zone right here. And you see this signal? We got the 920. I'm going to start going back up. Like I said before in one of my previous videos, I said we could withstand. I was going to exit at 520, but I changed my mind because we're still riding up on the trend. And 820 came. We got some sort of a dip. Um, and then now this signal is coming up at 950 in about four minutes. And it looks like it's going to uh, take off to Mars. Okay, and uh, 1320 will 1310 will be the peak time to exit the trade and uh, collect our profits. We'll be right here. Okay, so and we'll call it a day. All right, traders. So if you need more information on this, and I'll have some other videos um, also with the dollar Canadian. It's just the best pick, in my opinion, is the best pair to trade with this software if you're trading Forex. I mean, you got the, you know, you got the pound dollar, you have the um, pound dollar, you have the Australian U.S. dollar is really good, New Zealand U.S. dollar is excellent, um, pound U.S., and there's another one. I don't trade the euro yen really that much once in a while, but... Um, it's, it works supposed to work really good on the euro yen as well. Wow, CL is taking a big dump. So that means the Canadian dollar is going to rally big time. Big time. Rally on my, on, on my uh, I like to call it the ATM machine. Okay, we're going to show you people the count. I don't like to do that. Uh, Canadian dollar. We're trying to take out this high. You know, once 
we take out that high, we're going to hit this and continue to the next. Traders, and you see, you'll see me trading this a lot. You know, it just it just pays. It's so predictable with the software. We're gonna be at take profit um, one shortly. And once we clear that high, it'll stop to clear it, and then we could be off to the races with this thing. Alright traders, so if you need more information on the Flux Power Zone with the Trend Stalker Elite, just beast mode, you know. Alright traders, I'm out. Stay profitable. Uh, welcome back traders. I'm going to take my uh, profit here, 329. Order cancelled. So we take we took that profit on the um, ATM machine, like I call it, AKA the Canadian, the U.S. dollar Canadian. All right, so we're out of that trade. We're gonna be, we're gonna close some of the other because the pound's probably gonna go up soon. So I mean, the trailing stops. Let's see, where are we? We gotta close uh, the Aussie dollar as well. Order, order filled. Still trying to get some more down movement, but we got a double we got a double bottom coming up here. And we're in a harmonic pattern as well on the harmonic scanner. But it's still predicted to go lower, but twelve fifty would be a signal, but I may be done for the day. And that's it for me. Uh, the trailing stop will take care of its themselves. Could close out and just be done. So I may just do that and then just pack it in and close these positions out. I got all the clients to uh, close those out. All right, trader. So I'm gonna close out on my um, all my trades and just. I mean, I could get you know these things could monster move all the way down to uh, those you know four or five hundred pips. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pack it in, call it an early Friday, and uh, keep it moving. All right, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna close these out. We we'll always get another position. Order canceled. All right, we're gonna close them out. We'll just go flat. JPY. We'll close out at 85 pips. Order order filled. Close is the Euro Australian. Where are we? Oh, I gotta go to the power zone for that. That's the only one I really don't want to close. This one I'm gonna leave. Only reason being is because I'm expecting this thing to launch. But apparently it's not launching, it's going down. Alright, so but I'm still expecting this thing to launch higher. Definitely still expected with the you know with the power zone. The power zone thing is going going up. Let's see where are we? Uh, right here. But I know that the Aussie dollar itself is in a harmonic pattern. You know, it's in a harmonic pattern, but I'm still uh, thinking this thing's going up a little more. This is a tough decision on this one. You know, because I really, I definitely do go by the power zone limit. And you see this movement here. And we still really haven't even gotten into it. For the launch pad here. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave it. So far it's been uh, pretty good. So, we caught the dip. 
that was coming. And of course this trend is up here. And it's pulled back and then it's up. So yeah, we'll just we're gonna leave the we're gonna use the up uh, we're gonna leave we're gonna leave this trade. Alright traders. So I'll update you as I'm gonna go do whatever I have to do now because I'm out of all this all the trades. All right, traders, stay profitable. If you need more information, let me know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, stay profitable. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. I like to call it the AKA cash machine. Okay, we're uh, waiting for a big explosion on this. Uh, um, once we close a one candle above here, we are off to the races. We're probably going to top out here at 29.90 or something like that. I got my limit right here at 30.10. But I think we're going to really run. Once we get a close above here, we are gone. Okay, traders. And uh, I had to flux uh, power zone uh, with the um, broad head down here and the orange stop lower low. This actually orange. This paid off, but I was looking to buy the Canadian dollar. So I did not take this sell trade. It did go down. And then it also, if you look to the left, it made this is a this is the low and then it made a lower, I mean a higher low. And then plus with this uh, orange dot, which really the red dot lower low, then it's gonna go up and then it did. So we're just waiting for a close above this and then we're off to the races. And this will probably be our last trade of the day. Um, so what I'll do, traders, and I don't want to, you know, sit here and wait through here. It should break out any moment, and uh, I will update you with the video. All right, traders, uh, trading the U.S. dollar to Canadian, aka ATM machine. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. As you can see now, we need a higher high, so let's take an adjustment of this trend line. Oh, so it's like way down here now. Well, that's not good. But anyway, uh, as you can see, we got that candle I said. Once we closed above here, uh, where's my resistance line? This blue resistance line, we were going to go up. So we're at take profit one. And then we got another up bar. We got a selling uh, pressure power zone at uh, 11.55. So we'll see what happens when we get to that level. This time here. So I'm going to mark it. So we got, I don't know, almost about another half an hour with this trade to get up at least up here but I think it's still gonna run because it closed above here and we should go you know at least to 90 round let's see so I may pull my limit in a little more so we'll see what happens excuse me traders and I'm going to move my stop. I'm going to keep my stop um, by the ATR here. Right about, like a little bit under the ATR. <clears throat> yeah, we definitely got buying pressure coming in uh, shortly. Fine. Yeah, so we just got a big bullish candle, I see, on a smaller chart. Let me check my other trades. I took some uh, trades on the New Zealand. I shorted the New Zealand dollar. Right now it's holding here. I shorted the New Zealand. But this is on an MT4 platform. Um, 
And so what we're gonna do, traders? Yeah, I see stuff pulling back right now. We got a green cycle marker on the pound U.S. dollar. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're probably gonna go to this level, 61. Let's see, and then we're gonna, we're gonna probably hit this level. Let's see what kind of resistance we get there. Yeah, the market's moving very slow. Normally, you know, excuse me, with the uh, U.S. dollar Canadian, I mean, it just it has so much power. Like when it once it starts rolling, and it's just you know. I don't see that force. All right, so we're up like that. I think we're probably up maybe oh, 24 pips, 25, nothing crazy. For some reason, I just can't get like a big run out of these, uh, you know, because with this ATM strategy, I have it moving up, you know, three pips. This one, I have it moving up three pips positive once it moves. So I've been, sometimes I got to move the trailer back a little bit because of what's been happening, they keep pulling back and hitting my um, uh, trailing stop. All right, so we got one more bar, and then we're going to have a bar that's going to go down. All right, traders, I'm going to pause the video because really nothing's happening at the moment. All right, traders, update you with the video. We take uh, with the uh, ATM machine, U.S. dollar Canadian, using the flux power zone with the trend stock relief. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Uh, we ended up exiting. We didn't have the time to get up there in time um, to make this uh Fulfillment. So I wind up uh, closing out. As you can see, it uh, is a double dot to sell. So I am out of the trade. Wound up getting 17 pips. I was up as much as about 25. All right. And then we got the uh, double dot sell. This thing's going down. So we may retrace because we're in an uptrend. So I'll be looking possibly, you know. A pull back to this ATR level here somewhere. All right, traders. So now we're on our way down. So I will update you back with this trade. Stay profitable, traders. I'm out. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Okay, now we just um, you know retrace pretty hard off the double dot sell here. It went down. So we may enter on, this is a trade right here. Once it touches this ATR line, so you can enter a trade on this. So we'll do that. We'll buy trade. Order, order, filled. And it stop goes like right below there. Now if it's going to hold, I'm going to move back a little bit more. Right there, it's a five pip stop. So if it's going to hold, then it's going to hold on that ATR here. It's called a Hail Mary trade. So we'll see if it's going to work or not. A lot of times it does. I see the other pairs are in the...
So and then I'll target. Stop filled. Okay, we got taken out on that trade. So I think we lost like five pips. All right, traders, that was a um, Hail Mary trade. That's the last ditch effort for the trend to stay intact. It, uh, it definitely took out that target. So let's see if we are going to close above here. Welcome back, traders. Change the U.S. dollar Canadian. Okay, as you can see here, the U.S. dollar Canadian 935 signal, a sell, and uh, we took it up in here. It started, you know, uh, this is resistance up here. So we're going to push down a little more, and then we're going to start going back up, and then we're going to dip a little bit more. So I'm up a few pips now, maybe at tw about 20. But overall, the trades that uh, was on my radar pretty much worked out in that direction. I do do the... Ooh, excuse me. That the uh, Canadian was going to go up, but I thought it was going to get more of a retracement here, and it did not. Uh, what was it? 420 here. You know, went down a little bit here, dipped, and then back up, and then it just trended all the way actually up. So I'm looking for the Canadian dollar to come down here at 30. This is support right here. 30. 79 right there bounce back up go back up i'm going to close out and then wait for this next sell at um 1055 and then take that um it's still choppy so yeah i'm looking for this area right here at 3078 for definitely a bounce okay and the dollar canadian yeah, so I'm going to close my dollar canine. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to close out some positions because it's going to go back up. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Okay, we're using the flux power zone with the trend stalker elite. Uh, with this Canadian dollar pair, it just, um, you know, it just pays. It's probably the best pair on this uh, software, in my opinion. Um, we got 9 o'clock signal here double dot sell and we spiked up a little bit and we dropped as you can see here's the drop here all the way down now we have a broad head this is going to be a shorter move because it's going to be going up later on um, today but we had broad heads these little red dots here so you have broad heads here it dropped get these little red dots here little triangles those are broad heads. That's that means it's an over really oversold condition and it's gonna go down. Then plus an ace castic cell and we are down. Could have got in a little earlier, but I was looking at the pound, trying to take the pound long to about 420. So let's see what we'll what the uh, I don't think we're gonna take out the low here. I doubt it. But we probably are going to take out this 20 pip target. And you can see here we got another sell coming up, but this is some back and forth movement until we get back up here and then a sell. And then another another sell. Hold on, traders. Another alarm going off. Sell at 850, push down, then a push back up to 1045, and then uh, it looks like it's down a longer trend to the south. So I'll be looking to take that that trade as well. Especially the 1045 trade. Excuse me, trader. Let me take a look at the pound. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. <clears throat> Got a uh, buy marker here at uh, 820. Just enter the trade. Um, I'm also on my Ninja Trader platform, but I entered this trade on uh, MetaTrader 4. So I'm using this as a reference point. And as you can see here, it's going up. And it should go up until about 10 o'clock and then down. But we're going to have a, um, 
Oh, you can probably re I could probably re enter a trade right here on this bar where I got the arrow, and then it's going to go up again, and then at 10 o'clock it's going to go down. So right now it's about 8:37. Signal came in at 8:20. I waited for it to pull back a little more than um, it just did now. So I got an awesome entry and went positive immediately. All right, traders. So that's the uh, US dollar Canadian, which is the most, in my opinion, the most consistent pair. Uh, Forex is this pair right here, the most predictable. And um, this is the one I make the most of. Uh, pips and uh, money with because when you make pips you'll make money it's, it's, it's just that simple <clears throat> all right so we got some other um, signals coming up on the dollar Canadian um, after the sell at 10 to so that's an hour and 15 minutes and then we got another we got a buy marker at 11 15 doesn't quite cross the zero line, does cross the zero line here. You could barely see it right there. So we'll look and look at we'll be looking at that. Right there, actually cross the zero line twice. Okay. Here. And there, cross the zero line. Okay, and then now we got a, uh, then we have a 420, 1420 uh, buy marker here up until 1700. There was that short term. Then we're gonna look to go up to 10. And then we look to sell from 15, depending on what the trend is going. And then it's going to go back up. And then down. And then back up. Now, we got a couple of cells, but they're still above the zero line. So what I've found that a lot of times is... Just say this cell comes in, it's only going to go down briefly, but it doesn't cross the zero line. Order, order, filled. And then um, this one, it's going to cross the zero line. So it's going to go down. But it looks like it's going to go down very briefly and then back up. Yeah, so. Oops. I don't know what I just did there. Alright, so. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Let me squeeze this in, see what else is going on. Because it's basically a straight down trend. But then we got a you know big move up on the trend here. So I may be looking to buy this pair. You know, on the moves of this big histogram here. And we got a sell at 9.55 a.m. in the morning. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a nice uh, long trade if you could hold, depending how violent this down move is at 10 o'clock, then it's possible to hold this trade. Alright traders, so I'll update you with the video, with the uh, position. Welcome back traders, trading the US dollar Canadian. Uh, Getting up here, uh, we're currently up, we're up like 20 pips, so it's currently stopped, moved up. But this is, um, I'm actually on this trade on my MT4 platform. Just using this as a reference point at the moment. And you can see how the signals went, like I said, with a dollar Canadian. Uh, I mean, I could just basically trade this one pair and, uh, you know, make income out of it. It's, uh, it worked that well. Very consistent, stops very tight, and um, it just works on this pair of the best, to, to my opinion. Welcome back, traders. 
Training the U.S. dollar Canadian. Currently up 27 pips and uh, we're still going up. We're looking, uh, coming up on resistance here. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But I'm looking for a longer term trade on this uh, uh, U.S. dollar Canadian. Once we get past all this up and down movement here. Um, so we'll see, like I said, what happens. I mean, we may close. Got definitely resistance at 3034, but you got resistance right here. Welcome back, traders. Trading the US dollar Canadian. Once again, US dollar Canadian comes in. Hit the 820 signal. Um, looking only for buys right now because we get the reversal pattern. And as you can see, we're up 44 pips. Uh, trailing stops moving up. This is um, also in the um, on other platforms at the same trade. Dollar Canadian just continues to pay. And look at we're almost at 50 pips. All right, traders, so I'll update you back on this trade. I'm out. Stay profitable. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. Dollar Canadian using the flux power zone with the trend stalker elite. As you can see here, I was looking for long positions. An entry down here, 8.20 a.m. in the morning, pulled up, pulled back, broke the ATR, pulled back, closed this position, re-entered on the pullback, and entered again to the upside. Now we're up 57 pips. Um, we're currently almost into a buy signal, so we're probably going to go up to my one of favorite level here um, is 30.85. So let's check out the DTR. See where we're at. This is the low point here. So we're currently 65 pips into the daily trading range. Okay, so we still got some room to go, and we should. The DTR is probably going to be right where, approximately around this area here. 86 pips. So it's about there, and this is the ATR here. We're at the fifth level. So we're breaking that now, and we still got some more up movement coming into a buy signal at 1420, which is 220 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is why this currency pays, pays with the flux power zone. As you can see here, when we first entered the trade, and now we're still up almost 60 pips. All right, traders, so I'll update you back with this trade. Uh, we should be going up some more, and then we'll probably close out possibly um, when we get up to this area. It's definitely resistance. All right, I'm out. Stay profitable, traders. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Uh, we took a um, position here because um, I was going to get a retracement back here. We got a nice retracement. We had a green dot. And then it made like a higher high, so it's going to pull back. Now we entered here on the Hail Mary. We got the broadheads printed. Um, and we entered the trade. So we'll see if we can get up to this level here. That's what I'm looking for. Looking for this level right here um, to try to get up to, to fulfill the daily trading range, which is about another 30 pips. So let's see what happens with this trade, traders. Stay profitable, and I will update you back with this position. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. Just giving you an update on that trade. Uh, trading the Trend Stalker Elite with the Power Zone, as you can see now. Uh, you can see at the beginning of my video uh, where. Um, at 8.20, took the buy trade, exited, re-entered at 11.15 um, on the pullback, closed out with some nice pips here, down and up, and still in the trade now. <clears throat> and as you can see, the original entry would have been about, it's at uh, 79 pips. So we're still going to get a nice run up here until, uh, it's going to continue on, the, on its way up until... 9.55 a.m. in the morning. So you could still see that 
We still got a lot more up and move, upward movement left. Like I said, this pair just pays. I mean, you'll see the in the other videos where I traded last couple of months. You know, using this flux power zone, and it just keeps on paying. You know, you do have some losing trades. That's what any system or uh, strategy that you use, but um, this one is just more reliable, in my opinion, than any other pair using this uh, software. Like the pound works pretty well. I mean, um, the Australian, New Zealand, um, but this one just, you know, consistently pays. And as you can see, I, I predicted it, it's probably going to go by 100. It's probably going to go more than that because Friday is the bigger uh, trading range. So uh, we could definitely expect some huge movement here because we got we got some we got a nice straight run up here um, on this trend here. It's going to go. It's going to be the low point here. We broke that 80, um, 30, 80 or something like that just now. So um, we're off. I'm going to be definitely looking to try to take out that other high of 30, was it 32 or something like that? We got some resistance up here, 31.60. Yeah, we're looking to definitely go up a lot more. Welcome back, traders. Trading the U.S. dollar Canadian. All right, we're up. Quite a few pips, and um, we got the. Uh, as you can see, the histogram. We're gonna up bar. We're gonna be going up till 9:55 a.m. in the morning. Like I said, this currency pair just continues to just pay over and over again. All right, so I'm, I'm in this trade on my uh, MT4 uh, platform. So uh, we're gonna hold the trade. We're gonna try to hold the trade till 9:55 when the we will exit. All right, traders. So let's take a look at. It. Let's see what happens right there. Here we are in the power zone, and you can see the big peak. Uh, we're gonna be coming up on a little pullback, then pull down, then back up, and then peak out here, and then we're gonna probably retrace slowly. And then we got a couple of another up moves here at 11.40, and not that significant. So we're up quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to take off a, maybe a lot or two and let the other ones ride out. All right, traders. So there you go. From And we're still holding the trade, so we are, you know, from 8.20 made pips let the pull back um excuse me then it went back up and then went up some more and then it kind of floundered here dropped here about 50 pips um and uh now we just took off to the north so um and now see this particular one had the trailing stop so it took the trailing stops see it it Depends how you trade. You know, the trailing stops got taken out on this one, but you know, have fixed stops on my um, MT4 uh, platform. So it, I don't have the trailing stops working. So it's a, you know, you got advantages and disadvantages. You know, welcome back, traders. Trading the US dollar Canadian. Again, we had a nice pullback at this 955 signal. Uh, we had one, two, three broadheads. And then we uh, had also uh, the histogram, the power zone. You can't see it on this one, but I'm going to go to the power zone with the smaller histogram, and I'll show you which trade I took. And it was the 1140 signal on the smaller histogram after the retracement of the 955 signal on here. Then I wound up taking this move here. It's going to go up until about 1245. This is my last trade. Of the day, and um, I gotta start making some videos. I've making a video in a while, so um, it's probably gonna be about the dollar Canadian because it's just lights out trading a dollar Canadian with this software.
you know, you're not going to win, like I said, you're not going to win all trades, but with this style of Canadian, it's very predictable, you know, oops, very good, predictable, let me squeeze in, see what's going to happen, okay, we got some, this is when the market opens on Sunday, we got to buy signal at 2.05 a.m. in the morning, so I'll be looking to take that signal, I'll leave the other ones alone, and we're going to take that uh, 2.05 signal, oh, this has got that huge target on it. This trailing stop has a huge target on it. I think it's like a 240 pip target. So, let's pull in. Sorry about that, traders. There we go. And you can see that, you know, we just rifled up that quick. You know, very low drawdown. And um, we're off to the races. All right, traders. So that'll be my last video. And um, maybe I'll just, you know, whatever it closes out with, then I'll make it, you know, then I'll, I'll let you know. Maybe right now we're at 35 pips. And all I did was wait. Broadheads printed. The tight stop, 15 pips stop. And uh, we're off. Wow, crude oil is dropping like crazy. Wow, it is going down. <laughs> and you can see the Canadian dollar just, uh, you know, advancing. Should be going up. Uh, wow, it just blew right through that green dot on the crude oil. Just amazing. All right, traders. So I'll update you back with this last position. I'm out back traders trading the US dollar Canadian once again the dollar Canadian never disappoints um, you got a double dot buy here to 10 a.m. and this one is at 205 a.m. on the power zone so that's a double dot buy so we're gonna go up until about Looks like we're peaking out about 7.30, about 6.50 a.m. in the morning. So we may exit here at this time. Wait for the pullback to come down. And it look like another buy is going to come at 14.40. And then we got a nice trend from there up till 8.45 the next morning. So that's pretty long. And so... Um, looks like we're going to be going up. All right, traders. So any pullback, I'll probably be looking to buy the dollar Canadian. So we definitely got a down move at the 7:30 here. Down, even though it's got a 10, you got a couple of sells here, another sell, and then down. But it looks like it's definitely going to go down to this 14:40. Then I'll be looking for a buy. Um, but you know, I've got a sell here. Oops, sell here. So I'm going to have to enter uh, more positions on uh, other platforms, so I will update you back on this trade. All right, traders, stay profitable.